Hi guys, so we are here with our babies. Rue has given us eight healthy babies after a cesarean section last night. Um, it is imperative that if you're going to breed that you know the signs to look out for when a bitch is in trouble or when puppies are in trouble. So with Rue, um, she just failed to go into labour at all. Um, time was getting on and the puppies were getting to the stage where they would be overdue. Um, we did an ultrasound and I, I was aware that we had lost a puppy. Um, and then there was a puppy with a slow heart rate so we took Rue straight to the vets. The vet confirmed this and we opted for an emergency caesarean section. Um, Rue was doing amazingly well. We did lose a puppy on the way home. We do assume that that is the puppy with the slow heart rate. Um, unfortunately, it's really sad and it's it's part of it's part of breeding. And it's something that if if you want to do that, you've got to be prepared to take the rough with this move. Um, but we do have eight beautiful, healthy, wriggly puppies. Um, Mama is doing fantastic. You'll be able to hear her in the background. She's there. <laughs> we're in the Welton box right now. So, um, this is kind of where we're going to live for the next couple of weeks with Newfoundlands. You can't leave the mother with the puppies alone because they're very clumsy and big, and the relative size from the puppies to the, the size of the mother is vast. So, uh, we don't want anybody getting um, squished. squished. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll just see if I can tilt this down. And here is two feet number one there. <laughs> Rose babies. We have some dinky dots and some chunky ones. The the weights range from 310 grams up to. 570, no, 589 grams. This blue boy being the biggest and no collar boy being the smallest. Um, you will notice that not all of the puppies have collars on and that is because they don't fit some of these little dinky dots. So we're so glad that we didn't go in for the cesarean early earlier because we may have lost more puppies. Um, we, we're just so glad that we got the timing as perfect as we could. And that we have eight healthy babies here. Um, so we're just going to go and take Rue now to give her a nice clean up because obviously after um, the caesarean there's still a lot of blood that leaks out of her rear end. So we're going to go and clean that up now. <laughs> her little shin pads. So, she's a bit gunky and bloody, so we're going to give her a nice little wash down. We'll have to do this every day for the next short while. But as you can see, from where we've clipped the hair, as you can see from where we've clipped the hair for the maternity trim, it's stayed a lot cleaner than what it would have usually. Um, but it is all in that tail and everything, so I'll give her a nice clean down. Just gonna say, turn that water off. Get back, get back, get back, get back. <laughs> roll, roll. Pick a poo, stop jumping. You can see there. Oh, a lot of bloody gunk there. Oh, it's not glamorous. That's better to be off than sticking to our skin and in off there and potentially in the puppy's mouths. Very cold today. It is cold. Not that I think she's cat. I think she's like it's cold. Good. Oh, I don't need to 
It's already started to knot on mm. the bottom and like dry and getting knotted. And it hasn't even been, what is it, 12 hours maybe? No. Tops are pushing us over. <laughs> right, look at this, I can see. Look, that's who's pushing me over. Tupper tops. They've all got bits of tree, tree in the hair. Because it's autumn. Nice warm water. So you see with my hair. Yeah. So we're maneuvering around it. Just... And I've got a little dog jumping out over us. Blood, blood and gun. As you can see. I'll just show you guys a little Zarian scar. Which obviously right now we want to keep dry. It's starting to clear out a little bit now. It's always playtime with you, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Keep a bit alone, it's not always going the way. Sit down, sit down. She's got You finished? Finished. Think of it as the smallest new fee that we have. She's a diddy dot. Are you a diddy dot? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Cados. Please don't drink the bubbles. Oh, it smells a lot nicer back here. Yeah, but you can only imagine. <laughs> You like cheese? You like cheese? Is this going to fool you? Is it going to We are disguising Rue's tablets, her antibiotics after the cesarean in cheese. cheese. Okay. And the chaser, before she realizes. Oh, she spat it out. <laughs> oh, she's only spat it out. Half the Half tablet. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. yeah. Clever. That's done. Ten and a half. Babies. Babies. So as you can see, Rue's babies are separate from Rue at the moment under a heat lamp and this is to give Rue a break also because we can't leave the puppies with Rue unattended in case she squishes them. Nufis are really big, puppies are very small and um, Nufis are super duper clumsy so it's quite easy for her to, to lay on one or squash one and um, please do excuse the mess in the towel. We do get asked if they can feed puppies after a caesarean, oh and they can't. It's nice and neat, not oozing. And then a uh, teeth cover it so that the puppies can't get to it anyway. Right. Obviously, with Rue, as you can see, and it was at this side are massive, where the back, the little, and they're a lot easier for the little ones like this guy. But this is what we do every two hours. It takes a while to get everybody latched on and feeding. And Rue just relaxes, goes to sleep. <laughs> 